Uh, welcome back, reinforcement learning. Uh, this session, I explain the multi-arm bonded problem solved by using epsilon greedy approach. Okay, last session I explained the what is the multi-arm bonded problem. Okay, there are the n number of arm, uh, number of n number of missions are there. We can op we open every one, but our aim is to open the best reward to get the best reward mission. We open the best reward open. Um, that is the multi-arm bonded problem. We have the multiple uh, arms. Each arm has the their reward. So, how to get the best cumulative reward by using different approaches to balance the exploration and exploitation. Exploration means we find out the, we open the new arms, find the rewards. That is the exploration. Exploitation is to get the, find out the best one uh, uh, from the all open uh, arms or missions. That is the exploitation. Okay, how to balance the exploration and exploitation? Okay, that is the main aim to solve the multi-arm multi bandit problem. Okay, in this session, I explain the to balance, uh, explain the how to balance the exploration and exploitation by using epsilon greedy strategy. The greedy strategy is it is mainly focused on exploitation only. Exploitation only. Which one is the best reward arm we can open every time? That one only. That is the greedy approach. In greedy approach, we can miss the best, uh, another best uh, arm that it has that also has the best reward. Okay, that's the problem in greedy approach. So we go to the um, epsilon greedy strategy to solve to balance the exploitation and exploration. Um, now uh, in uh, epsilon greedy strategy, uh, in last class I, I introduced the epsilon greedy strategy. Uh, in epsilon greedy strategy, we, we take the two probabilities, one is the exploration purpose, another is number of times we open the, uh, we go to the exploitation. Okay, epsilon greedy strategy, if we, uh, we are, uh, have the two probabilities, what is the smallest, we take the smallest probability value, um, we, regularly we are taking 0 0.2, there is a epsilon value. Okay, 0 0.2 means 20, uh, 0 0.2 times we, we go to, we go the exploration operations and remaining 0 0.8 times we go the exploitation. Okay, this uh, epsilon and 1 minus I epsilon counts the balance the both exploration and exploitation. Okay, in this way, we are open the epsilon times the exploration operation, open the new arms, find out the, the rewards and find, uh, calculate the averages. And 1 minus epsilon times, 1 minus epsilon times, we go the exploitation, means every uh, 1 minus epsilon times, we open the best reward arms to get the best term. We, we assume that that is the best reward arms. So, 1 minus epsilon times, we, do, we will do the uh, exploitation, epsilon times, we will do the exploration, okay. That is the balance, the uh, epsilon greedy strategy. Okay, how to implement this epsilon greedy strategy to solve the multi-arm bonded problem using the following steps. Here the steps are uh, program steps for epsilon greedy strategy. The first one is initialize the parameters and variables. What are the parameters required and variables are required in this program? First initialize those parameters and variables. And next one is simulate the reward process. Okay, we are simulate the environment. Here simulate the environment. Okay, we assume the n number of uh, arms and we give the simulated rewards for each arms. And update the uh, record array. We maintain the one record array for the rewards and the arms and select the best arm and main loop for the epsilon greedy strategy. Next step is visualization of the results, the final observations. Okay, these are the steps in program implementation. The first one is initialize the parameters and the variables. Okay, in epsilon greedy strategy, we are uh, using the number of arms or number of missions. Okay, that is the n. In this example, we are initialized with the n is equal to 10. Next one is we have the two counts, one is the epsilon, another one is 1 minus epsilon. Epsilon for the exploration, 1 minus epsilon for exploitation. Okay, in this case, we are EPS, epsilon, we are initialized with the 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2 means 20 percentage of times, 20, uh, 20 percentage. Next one is probabilities, probabilities for the uh, rewards, uh, probabilities, for, probabilities of the 
arms we are initialized with uh, randomly we are uh, simulated the probability number probs is equal to np uh, dot random dot random we are using uh, number of arms the number of slot machines is 10 hidden probabilities associated with each arm by using um, numpy uh, random function epsilon for epsilon greediest action we initialize with the 0.2 okay these are the parameters we are initialized in this program the next step is inside the parameters and record array okay record array is one more uh, important parameter in this program the record array maintain the number of times open the arms and uh, the corresponding average rewards okay this is the two column record but the first column is count and how many times it is opened and the second column value is average of rewards okay it is initialize the record array to keep the track of the number of times each arm is pulled and its corresponding average uh, average reward okay it is a two column uh, record that is a um, record array okay yeah record array uh, next one is uh, record process reward process we get the reward okay by using random function we are taking the rewards uh, the uh, 10 yeah uh, instead the uh, probability of rewards is 0 0.7 0 0.7 means the on uh, out of 10 attempts we got the seven times we got the reward okay seven times we got the reward okay the um, define the function get reward probability is n is equal to 10 to simulate the reward received from pulling an orb this function generate the reward based on the probability of the arm being pulled the instance the probability of arm is 0 0.7 the function will return a reward close to 7 out of 10 okay in this example we define the probability value is 7 so we got the 7 times out of 10 we got the 7 times rewards okay this is the uh, 20 times we run this one we got the average uh, the mean of the rewards is 0 0.7 update the record array okay when we open the new arm uh, we uh, uh, we are uh, calculate the average reward how to calculate the average reward the mu is equal to 1 by k number of times and some of the all uh, rewards okay using this formula we got the we calculate the uh, record error um, we calculate the record array average reward and uh, when you open the new uh, uh, new arm we can update the record we update the record with the new reward using the formula mu of mean of the uh, new record is equal to k uh, into mean value of the old plus x is the new reward by k plus 1 times okay using this code update the record record and action and reward using this one new record is equal to record of action 0 that is the first column into the number of times it is opened into record of action of column 1 it is the average of the uh, arm reward plus new arm or by uh, number of times it is opened that is the first column value plus uh, 1 okay using this formula we call we can update the record in every times uh, next one is uh, that is the expiration point of view uh, we have five we open the new arms next after uh, epsilon times we go to the one minus epsilon times we, we go to the exploitation we open the new uh, best arm we open the best arms okay how to find the best arms by using numpy argument function on column one of the record array we get the best uh, reward arms okay the for the frequent the loop of the actions the uh, sequence of actions is performed in the epsilon giddy strategy the first one is uh, in the uh, main loop repeat the following steps for the set of number of trials the first one is exploration with the probability epsilon randomly choose an arm to pull we choose the epsilon times the arms are selected randomly exploitation with the probability 1 minus epsilon select the arm with the highest average reward using the get best arm action uh, get best arm record function and reward calculation okay when you open the arm we cal uh, we find out the reward value and record update update the mean of uh, rewards and track the running average record okay we maintain this uh, average of the rewards and the count uh, of the corresponding arms using record array 
okay exploration exploitation reward calculation reward record up, uh, record update of the arms and their corresponding rewards and track the running average rewards why when we mean track the running average rewards open the best reward arm okay this is the um, loop of the program steps the first initialize the record array to all zeros initially and randomly initialize the probabilities or rewards for each arm by using random function and choose the best action with the 0 0.8 probability. We are choosing 0 0.2 as the epsilon value. So, we got the 0 0.8 probability for exploitation. Um, and compute the reward for choosing the new arm. Okay, we compute the reward value, r is equal to open reward next. Update the record array with the new count and reward observation for this arm. I will again calculate the average. Keep the track of the running average of the rewards to assess the overall performance. Okay, the visualization of the uh, average rewards and number of times placed. Uh, this is the visualization using matplotlib to display the average rewards for the number of attempts, trial and errors. The final observation it balances the more than the greedy approach. Okay, epsilon uh, greedy approach. It is a balance of both exploration and exploitation. Epsilon times we go the exploration, 1 minus epsilon time we go the exploit, exploitation operations. It gives the best uh, results compared with the greedy approach. Thank you.